Honorable com commissioners, my comments are related to OB80 today and related to traffic, which I know is a subject that you really don't like, but I must share these thoughts with you. Would you share, your name, would you share your name for us? Please? Oh, yes, Gabriela Coroneos. Thank you. Thank and you. I'm from Heritage Oaks. Thank you. Okay. Traffic congestion already exists within the, the area, particularly at Barrett Parkway in Dallas, and it's about to skyrocket. OB80 will attract uh, 3,100 new car trips per day to this already heavily congested area. Parkside Shopping Center, one mile to the west, which opens next month, is anticipating 4,000 new tr car trips daily. That's 7,100 additional cars and trucks that will flood our area with no allowance for future infrastructure improvements. Last week, I met with Amy Diaz and Jane Strickland at Cobb DOT. Cobb DOT's only recommendation for OB80 was to widen Garrison Commons to three lanes with four lanes at the Dallas Highway Light. We ask that this recommendation be, required, be a required stipulation in the OB uh, case before the December 20th vote. This DOT recommendation alone gives insight as to how this one development will greatly impact and change the quiet nature of the existing Garrison Commons subdivision. No changes were recommended to Old Dallas Road across Dallas Highway heading towards the Chestnut Ridge subdivision. It's still two lanes. The, opposed, the proposed Garrison Commons complex doesn't fit the requirements to be a commercial node according to the land use plan. The property is outside the divine existing commercial node. It goes beyond the residential commercial node cutoff delineated by Lowe's Taco Mac to the east. No changes were recommended at Heritage Oaks entrance. No light, no merge lanes, nothing. This will lead to unbearable backups and U-turns possibly for us with thousands of new car trips added daily. Heritage Oaks residents and school buses risk getting broadsided by increased traffic on a 15 degree downhill grade from OB80. Waiting until someone is killed is too late to fix this. Many discussions have taken place with the county over the years regarding a light to no avail. Funny how Parkside was able to get a new light just west of Dallas and Castile to help allow customers to access their commercial property. Garrison Road, Commons Road, is the only truck entrance for large 18-wheeler rigs entering Lowe's because of the tight turns elsewhere. With OB80, we will have a mixture of large rigs and small trucks going not only into Lowe's complex, but into OB80. The, this traffic will be combined with passenger cars from shoppers and the cars and school buses of residents of Garrison Ridge trying to get in and out of their community. All this traffic will result in a traffic choke holds at Garrison Commons Light that will back up to the public's target light and then beyond to the barest Dallas intersection and downhill to Heritage Aids. The letter of stipulations contains no language as to restricting delivery times, trash pickup, etc. OB80 is bordered on three sides by uh, th three subdivisions and several private homes. OB80 is a site plan that is unworkable because the site's topography does not allow any future curb cuts to be added later as congestion grows. Uh, the mediated settlement plan, plan to be voted on you by December 20th was unofficially floated around before the May vote, in fact, back in March, but never filed by Columbia with the county. Everyone at Garrison Ridge, Chestnut Ridge, and Heritage Oaks was as opposed to it then as they are now. The so-called park is an empty wooded lot, which is where a deep buffer would have been required anyway, but with all the land being removed and flattened, many of the trees in this park area will be torn down and new trees planted. We West Cobb homeowners also have constitutional rights that county officials ought to recognize, and we ask you to vote no to OB80. A couple of other observations. Home Depot, Walgreens, and Pikes. They have two traffic lights and five egresses or curb cuts. Lowe's Publix, two traffic lights, six egresses. Target Staples Burger King, three traffic lights, seven egresses. OB80, 
uh, one traffic light, two egresses, with only one way to make a left turn going east onto D to Dallas Highway. And we anticipate the people trying to get out of this. Ms. Coroneos, thank you. Thank you. Your time has expired. Thank you very much for your time, and happy holidays to all of you. Thank you, ma'am. Same to you.